I must have bought some armor that the boss has surrendered, so... Hmm. I guess it was nothing. The body can repair tissue damage, but still, too much radiation too quickly can prove fatal. Kosh Not yet mastered Dr. Van Tudel's advanced skin patterns.
hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here in this holotape. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory. Because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. Why save them? Don't the children have reasons for hating Far Harbor? When the fog got worse, the people of Far Harbor killed a child of Adam missionary. There's been nothing but hatred and bloodshed since. But murder is not the solution. We should use the code, Dima. Far Harbor should die. What? How can you say that? Because you need to make a decision, Dima. Whose side are you on? I side with Adam. You're, you're right. I can't stay neutral in this any longer. Acadia has to take a side. Use the code. But remember, there will be no going back. The fog will roll into Far Harbor, and the creatures of the island will kill everyone. Oh. 
I believe we are supposed to file a police report, yes? And all the little things go in baggies for evidence.
The Great Divide. They're saying... Far Harbor. Is it really gone? Pardon me, sister. Wait, you... you saw the Mother of the Fog? Adam must be watching over you. The moment it happened, I could hear it. A change in the wind. It's over, isn't it? Far Harbor has finally returned to Adam's Grand Kingdom. It's done. Far Harbor sleeps under the fog at last. Glory to Adam. Glory indeed. I did not doubt he sent you to us. But now I finally see why. Thanks to you, the greatest threat to our family is no more. And for that, you will be rewarded. Here. A paltry thing, considering what you've accomplished. Your dedication to the purity of Atom's kingdom cannot be overstated. Such dedication should be acknowledged. From now on, you shall be known by all as Inquisitor, a title befitting your accomplishments. We've also reached out to the settlements you've been helping in the fog. Missionaries have been dispatched to inform them of the turn of events. We should have no trouble swaying them to our cause now. You have ended an era of wickedness, Inquisitor. 
Go forth in the age of Atom. But what am I thinking? Our brethren must hear the news. Sisters, come forth. Come forth and know the fate of Far Harbor. Gone. Gone is that bastion of heresy. Gone is that seething cauldron of desecration, washed clean at last. Today, brothers and sisters, Far Harbor streets run thick with fog, thanks to our champion. A soul of valor, of devotion, of purpose. Our Inquisitor, remember this moment, brothers and sisters. For thanks to them, a new age begins. Ours. Glory to Atom. Glory to Atom. Let me ask you something. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. I don't know, Nick. My family's in tatters. I've been dropped into this place where everything's trying to kill me. You tell me. Well, I'd expect you to feel lost, scared, and mad as hell. I sure did. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. 
But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. M massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing, hello, Institute, can you hear me? Hell if I know. If I am, the Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her? Talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb? Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. Eh, with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Let's head out. Well, all right. someone that did the captain's dance before. You need it? Bait shop's got it. Don't I was out a while, the doctor said. My is this a social visit, or is something alien?
Mainlander, I got one last idea. Crazier than a box of rad roaches. That hasn't stopped you before. Cole's got plenty of stopping power now. But if a Mirelurk queen went for a frontal assault... How are you doing? Are you feeling well? For the love of... This is why I didn't want to tell no one. I ain't some porcelain doll, Mainlander. I plan on going down fighting. So can we talk about the damn job? Has a queen ever attacked here? Well, not yet. But I'm telling you, the island's bubbling over with menace. Only a matter of time, I reckon. Now, I'm not sure anything could stop a queen on a rampage. Might be right, that. But I had an idea. Thicker walls can beat the whole mass velocity force issue. But the bigger problem is acid. Only thing I've ever seen survive a queen's acid are other Mirelurks. The Mirelurks on our islands have carapaces that are extra tough. So you gather up a bunch of the carapaces and lug them back here. Then I'll reinforce the town as best as I'm able. Where's a good hunting spot for Mirelurks? Crabs are crawling all over the island along the coast. But you might want to check around Haddock Cove. Far Harbor really owes you for all this. Yes and no. It's my dock people are squatting on, so I got a personal stake in it. Good luck. Food. Stim packs. Fully stacked.
It's going to be like having everything you are ripped out and replaced with something else. Someone else. I'm ready. I just I wish I could say goodbye to everyone. No one else can know. This isn't just about infiltrating Far Harbor. It's about becoming the human that synths drawn here need to meet. Reasonable. Willing to accept them as just another living thing. No greater or lesser than humanity itself. You'll be part of the bridge between our two worlds. That all vanishes the moment anyone discovers that it's been manufactured. That you're a sin. Did she have to die? The, the woman I'm replacing? God, she looks so peaceful lying there. Don't. Please. That blood is on my hands, not yours. Scanning. Approved user detected. Synth prototype. Unlocking medical this area door. What I am? How? Just who are you? I am Kai 1.1, a computer intelligence designed to control medical facilities, specifically the room through that door. You match all specifications for an approved user. Personally speaking, they were very narrow. This must be Dima's handiwork. Guess he never thought another prototype synth would be on the island. Might as well grab anything useful we find in there. Going up.
operating at full capacity. Ah, good to see you again. So, the current situation. The relay has been modified to reach this far, but it's taking an awful lot of power. Even with the reactor online, it takes a while to build up enough juice to activate the relay. But we should be ready to go. Just waiting on your order, sir. What exactly is the plan? Same as any other retrieval op, really. Just on a larger scale. Coursers go in with synth backup and subdue any escaped synths. Resistance is met with force. So, are we clear? There must be some other way to handle this. It's a little late to be second-guessing things now, don't you think? We'll repurpose all of them, don't worry, but you didn't answer the question. I'm not ready yet. I need more time. Okay. I guess it's your call, I mean. We'll be ready when you are. Only Alan's got enough backbone to stand up to the children. You need some firepower? Dima killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. Yeah, right, and I'm the... Wait, you're serious, aren't you? I always knew. I fucking knew. But your word alone don't mean nothing. Tell me you got proof. We need proof that Dima and Avery are... If I gave you proof, what would you do with it? What's it to... I mean, listen. If Dima is replacing us, I got a right to know. You can prove it, right? You knew that Avery is a synth? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, she's always acting so uppity. I mean, I know she's been mainland, but she's still an islander. I don't have evidence yet. So you just thought you'd waste my time with some crackpot theory? Get out of here. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Fresh shipment in. All your medical and food needs. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. Guns, ammo, and souvenirs. Great shop's got everything you need. Every day.
Don't talk to Bertha. She's crazy. Old Longfellow knows what he's about. Guns, guns, and more guns. I think we're alone. You ain't armed. You ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. You need it? They shot Avery. Guy. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. Need something? What's your opinion of Dima? We don't see him that often. He seems... Pious, 
I guess. He rubs a lot of people the wrong way around here. So I'm glad he keeps to the observatory. Why? What's the penalty for murder in Far Harbor? We're too independent to really have laws. But if a murder can be proven, tradition is the culprit's executed. Extreme, but it keeps the peace. I'll be going. Bye, then. You help Cassie, right? The children of Adam are dangerous. Don't trust them. Captain. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. Need something? I have proof that Dima killed the original Captain Avery. Here. I... but that's... my locket. It, it was lost in a fire. The skull. It, it can't be. Listen, I, I'm me. I remember everything. I can't be a, a synth. You're wrong. I saw the real Avery's bones. This is her skull. It could be anyone. That's not my face! Dima replaced you to control Far Harbor. He... he, he wouldn't. He's... Oh, God. It's true, isn't it? I'm a synth. Do you have any idea what it's like to learn everything you know, everything you believe, is a lie. My whole world's been turned upside down too. Friends, family, I understand. At least you know you're you. Your tragedies are yours. Mine. The only thing I can do now is live the way I believe is right. Dima is a murderer and a liar. And he should pay. But if you share this with anyone here, especially Alan Lee, many innocent people will suffer. Far harbors on the edge. And this will just push everyone right over it. Confront Dima. If you can make him pay, do so. But please, keep that evidence a secret. I can't make any promises. Far Harbor's barely holding itself together. If you're careless with that... You talk to Cassie Dalton. Shame what happened to her family. Loved ones with my fine hand. 